With WebStorm, you can run entire apps and specific scripts right where you create your code. Regardless of what you want to run, the principles are the same. Let's see what they are. I want to run this JavaScript file using Node.js. To do this, I can right click in the editor, or the tab, or the file, and select Run, or I can use a dedicated shortcut for it. When you run a file this way, WebStorm does two things. First, it runs that file and, depending on the file type, either opens it in the browser or shows the run tool window with the results of running the code, like it did here for me. Second, WebStorm creates a temporary run debug configuration, so we could run a file like that. The newly created run debug configuration can be found at the top of this drop down menu. Run debug configurations can be either temporary or permanent. To turn a temporary configuration into a permanent one, open this drop down menu with configurations and save the configuration. You may be wondering what's the difference between a temporary and a permanent run debug configuration? That's simple. Temporary run debug configurations are deleted when the default limit of five configurations is reached. Now, if you want to adjust the settings of a newly created configuration or use another one, you can do so in the Run Debug Configurations dialog, which opens up if you click Edit Configurations. This is a place for managing Run Debug Configurations. To add a new one, hit Plus, select the desired configuration type, and specify the settings based on your project or configuration type. To fine tune an existing configuration, click its name and update what's needed. These are the basics you need to know about running code and using run debug configurations in WebStorm. If you're ready to dive a bit deeper, you can find more information in our documentation. There are also some tips and tricks available in the WebStorm guide at www.jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide slash topics slash running dash debug.